We end here tonight with a miracle of life and the life-saving wonders of medicine. Jeff and Rachel Finn were ecstatic to learn they were expecting a second child when they got news no parent wants to hear. Their daughter had rare congenital heart defects that meant it was unlikely she would survive after birth. That was incredibly difficult, and I could just see the uh, ultrasound technician's face completely change, and um, we knew there was something wrong right away just by the, the look on her face. Their little girl, Ivy, was diagnosed with hypoplastic left heart syndrome. Her heart wouldn't be able to pump oxygen to her body. She also had a condition called intact atrial septum, worsening her case. But doctors told the Finns there was a surgery that had never been performed before in the womb that might give Ivy a chance. I was just very thankful that there was something that we could attempt. Last month, the Finns moved from their home in Jacksonville, Florida, to Houston, where Ivy could receive care at Texas Children's Hospital. She was born on Friday. It was pure joy when she was born. Um, they placed her on my chest as soon as she was born, and I mean, she came out screaming, and that was something that we, we weren't sure we would ever hear, and so it was, it was amazing. It was amazing. It was amazing. Ivy had her first open heart surgery today, one of three that are planned. I mean, our faith has been what's gotten us this far, and just holding on to hope, knowing that, you know, this life isn't everything. And so we're just thankful for the time we've been given so far, and we pray that we have many, many years ahead of us with her. Yeah, we've kind of, we've kind of made it almost a pact um, since we found out with the diagnosis that uh, we kind of said, Ivy, if, if, you, if you live for, for 10 seconds or if you live for 100 years, we're going to be there and loving you with all of who we are yeah. uh, throughout your entire time. We just spoke with the Finns again tonight. They say IV surgery was successful today. She is back in the ICU tonight, recovering and preparing for the next step in her journey. We will keep you posted for sure. That is the CBS Evening News for tonight. I'm Jeff Glore. We'll see you tomorrow. Good night and go Ivy.